everyone um, so in this video uh, I want to show you some of the new stuff I've done with the HUD I've spent a lot of time on uh, behind the scenes stuff in the engine but the HUD is coming together now so I figured I'd show that off um, so the purpose of this uh, reorganization here was to make it so there weren't so many hotkeys associated with uh, selecting items uh, from your hotbar so I've replaced the hotbar with this little circle control here um, and what that do and it has just a single hotkey and what that does is it frees up all these other hotkeys to just be more combat oriented uh, abilities so to select something you press and hold and then you mouse over so here I've, mount I've selected the axe um, and it's really quick to pick something else you can use the mouse wheel to scroll to pick something or you can click it in to deselect so you know, if I here's the pickaxe, and I can click in the mouse wheel to to select nothing again. Um, and there's also for more advanced users, you can tap the control key, and that'll bring the circle to where your mouse is, and then you can just select something that way. And so for people that are you know very accustomed to the game, they'll be able to use this gesture to quickly switch between their items, and it doesn't require memorizing a ton of hotkeys. Um, so before I had a whole lot of abilities associated with each item and I've simplified that uh, since then um, and now there's only a primary ability associated with each uh, item so for the axe it's to chop down stuff um, and you activate the the primary ability for an item by left clicking so right click is move and then left click is swing the axe and you can, can come pick this stuff up um, and it you, you kinda have to aim a little bit you know it'll swing in whatever direction you click um, so that's how the items work uh, now you can set what items are actually in this fan out and you can see you know now that I have the the wall here selected uh, left clicking places it and then I can switch back to the axe and chop this stuff back down Ooh, gotta get a little closer so the way you pick what items uh, are in the fan out, you open up the backpack and this animates up. I'll show you that again. So it animates up there and then um, you can actually just pick stuff out of these slots and uh, place them here. Um, so you'll notice there's a... So here's... This is the chest armor slot and there's the head armor slot. Um, and I have a new one now and there's that's the weapon armor slot so if we take this staff in the weapon slot here um, you can see it shows up down here I'll show you that again um, and you can see the an image of that weapon shows right next to all the abilities that are associated with it and now we can use those abilities and these are ones that you've seen from other videos um, so you can have an item selected and a weapon equipped at the same time and just whichever one you use last is what will actually show up on your character so we can uh, you know shoot a little missile thing and then immediately just left click and it will switch and use the axe so that's the new HUD it's very simple streamlined um, hopefully it should be intuitive for new players uh, so all the abilities now are associated with the weapon. If you were to switch your weapon out, you'd have a completely new set of abilities. And I want that to be a, a big component in the gameplay. Um, is just uh, how you craft your weapon. You know, and it'll be like a little sort of like a talent tree or mastery tree associated with each weapon while you're crafting it, so that you can sort of customize the weapon. But the, you know, the weapon acts like a character class in other RPGs. Um, so that's what I have right now. Hopefully I have more content for the next video. Um, but thanks, thanks for watching.